We are at Zrech and Luca split and we're on our way to Vienna. Next stop, Vienna. The Viennese sausage. Here we come. Double fisting. <laughs> We usually bring just a backpack so we can avoid the conveyor belt madness. But we brought a baby stroller and they said on the website the baby stroller can come in cabin. But they made us check it and now we are here waiting, waiting, waiting and it looks like we can't find it. What the heck? It's here? Perfect. Let's go get it. And we're off. We're off to Vienna. Let's go. Let's go get some schnitzels. <laughs> I just missed it. <laughs> Damn. Well, we're at, we're going to Steffenplatz, eh? Yes. This is confusing. <laughs> so confusing. I feel like in Barcelona a little bit. Yeah, but the connections and everything. Steffenplatz. Here we so come to Stefan's dorm or Stephen's dorm, the church, the big cathedral. But here we go. <laughs> Let's get on there. Whoop. Opa, bravo. So we're outside the Stephen's dorm cathedral. It's crazy. It reminds me of the Sagrada La Familia in uh, Barcelona there. But we're here. We took the train successfully. It's our first day here in Vienna. We're gonna check out this thing. On the front entrance of the tower on the right side, I mean of, of the church, I mean not the tower. Uh, you can see this number, it's played it here. Not a lot of people look at it, but we're going to look at it. Let's let me turn this around here. Look at this. So look at this. This is a main square Stefanplatz, but this is what I'm talking about. This is a 05. The fifth letter of the alphabet is an E. So O-E, it's the Oyster Reich. It's the Nazis. The Nazis never apparently went after this, after the Anschluss. Anschluss, but uh, yeah, this is this is supposed to be a, a Reich, a Nazi Reich. There's a little bit of history here, up front of the church. Look at this cathedral, though. Wow, wow, it's fill, filled with tourists, filled with tourists. Wow, but we're gonna go see where Mickey is, and I think she got stuck in the middle of a tour. Here she is, huh? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Holy shit, it's windy. But uh, yeah, a homeless dude was just following me, looking for a good time. But there's a little, a metal, a bronze house of the church. I guess it's just like a, a model of the house. I mean, of the church. I don't know why I keep calling it a house. But here we are. Look at this. Jeez. This is a nice city. Yeah, there's that homeless guy again. See what I mean? He was following me. What's he following me for? Is he just jacking my stuff out of my backpack? But Enzo's not loving his winter jacket. And we'll tell you, we went from swimming yesterday in the sea to here. It's freezing. What's your first thought of this place? Oh, I like it. I couldn't see too much with the pencil. It's cold. He didn't want to work. A Sagrada La Familia kind of, huh? <laughs> no, it's another, yeah, look at this. Yeah, it's, another, it's another style. This one is gothic. Yeah, they all look gothic. They, they all look are... sad. All these churches look sad, no? These cathedrals? Yeah, exactly. Like a lot of sad stuff goes on in here. This one, the most important thing is about the rooftop that it got on yeah. fire and they changed it for the side. And yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, so the rooftop up there is a mosaic now. Once we go up there on a tour, we're gonna show you the rooftop actually cut on fire, the original one. So it burnt down, and then they had to build that mosaic, is what she's saying. She's good. Did you see these guys? Yeah, look at these guys, a virtual reality tour. Look at this. Look at these guys, aliens, eh? Look at this, they have, they're walking around these things. It's crazy, it's crazy. <laughs> so crazy. They're walking around with a virtual reality tour when they're here in real life. 
my first reaction of this place is um yeah it's pretty pretty big it's bigger than croatia but it reminds me of like zagreb just more uh, well kept and look at every capital city in europe basically reminds me of but it's beautiful here yeah. it's really beautiful and it's freaking cold i wasn't gonna bring a winter jacket because i'm like oh it can't be that cold because october and, and october in croatia it's it's nice right here whew, i'm chilly my head i just got a haircut so my head's frozen but here we are at the behind stevens dome church look at this and enzo's over there crying crying he's off it's gonna be a tough one. This is his first one where he can run around and act crazy. Whew. So far, not easy. And there it is, eh? A little Vienna, little Vienna bus. What is that? A little Vienna bus over there. How is he good? Oh my God, he's been very bad. Very bad. He just wanna run, and there is cars here. So yeah, it's and dangerous. Yes, it's, it's the Einbein, you know. You can't run on the Einbein. <laughs> you can't run on the iron mine. Yeah. yeah, this side looks crazy. Looks like they need to clean the stones here a little bit. But besides that, it looks beautiful. It's beautiful here, huh? It is. Surprising, it's nice. Surprisingly beautiful, huh? Well, we kind of knew it was going to be beautiful, but. This is Aida. The world's best ice cream is in that shop, but I think it's a little too cold for some ice cream. But look at it, it looks beautiful. All the buildings here are magnificent, aren't they? Magnificent. Enzo, Enzo would, wouldn't mind some ice cream, would you? Look at this, it's nice here. Oh, it's heated. It's heated, it's winter here. They got the heat on outside, jeez. Our first meal here is a Wienerwurst for Enzo. He's excited, huh? To get a Wienerwurst and it's right outside the church here. The Stevens Dome Church, but we're gonna get one. I think we're gonna get the Frankfurt. Okay. Or do you want the Bratwurst? Uh, I don't care. I don't, I don't understand anything. <laughs> yeah. I just want a sausage. You just want a sausage? Ooh. Yes. Jeez, eh? I guess uh, usually it comes on that little plate there. And we're gonna try it out. Let's, let's try it out. Our first street food here in Vienna. We just got out, but we're waiting for five guys. But well, we might as well get a sausage and a, a gherkin, a big pickle. A big yeah. pickle and a gherkin, huh? A gherkin, jerking my gherkin. Oh, we're ready. Let's get this. Uh, uh, should we cook it or something? Yeah, we'll grab it. <laughs> Look at it. Here, 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 here. Here. Hey, Enzo. How are you going to do it? Eh? It's a little tuto, tuto, tuto. No, it's okay, thank you. Yes. So we're gonna try this out. Well, we're gonna let Enzo try it out. He doesn't like no. bread, so. Let's roll, let's get the five guys. Let's get the five guys. But yeah, it's just a hot dog. It's weird, two hot dogs, no bun, eh? And no something to good or anything. <laughs> like, I just grab it like this and just Yeah, up. you have to break it. <laughs> You don't want a bun? It's good though, huh? You didn't want any senf? Oh, is it good? Let's see, Daddy. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. That's a good hot dog. It's a pretty good hot dog, huh? For five euros, it comes to this. I I feel like uh, the the advent, the Christmas market. No, like it's kind of seven prices. euros for one. There. Frankfurter, check. It was actually really good. Eh? It's better than the hot dogs we have in Croatia. Good sausage, yeah. It's a hot dog. Next up, we're gonna try the sausage. She keeps calling them sausages, eh? In Spanish, this is sausage. I don't know. Salchicha. Salchicha, yeah. Yeah, but everywhere else, it's a hot dog. Hot dog. But yeah, Enzo loved it. 
and she finally sit down. But I'm, I'm kind of disappointed we didn't get the gherkin. No big pickle for me. I guess we're in the fancy district. Should we get some Louis Vuitton or some Hermes? Oh, no. Ooh, nice, eh? Nice shopping for Mama, eh? Can I? What do you want? Only a ten thousand dollar bag or what? <laughs> no, two, please. Two, two, please. Eh? <laughs> Look at this beautiful place. I don't even know what this is called. Do you? Oh, it's a cute. It's a church. It's a church Watch for out. sure. But yes, everywhere is a road here too. Usually, like this kind of street is like pedestrian. But look how beautiful this is. This is. This is a nice, nice city. But yes, usually like this kind of road, no cars go. We've seen lots of cars drive. But Enzo had a little Frankfurter, and now he's ready to rock and roll, huh? He's ready. <laughs> you see that he's not making any mess. Any mess. But yes, this is nice, nice, nice place. We got the Deo Patro Creatore. Look at that statue, that's beautiful, isn't it? Well, there's a, a nice American Starbucks here. We just went down this little dark alley. We're just gonna go for a nice little stroll down here. Look how beautiful it is. The streets are nice here. You get the blankets if you sit down and have a coffee. Cause it's cold. But it's actually warmer between these houses for some reason. Yeah, no wind. The wind is ice. Ice box. But that's also, that also I saw that in Copenhagen. Copenhagen? <laughs> what are you saying, Enzo? A little horse and carriage action here. We were watching this tour guide on YouTube. He said, it's a nice idea to take a horse and carriage around, but they said you got to pay lots and lots of money. So it's a, they didn't call it quite a scam, but just not worth it. So, we're gonna take a guy's word and not overpay for a horse ride. What do you think? Yes, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm scared of them anyways. And I mean, you know, some people look at, at least those horses have a job, but other people are like, man, that's mean to the horse, right? But they got a job, so that's good. A lot of people don't have jobs, but that horse got one. Yeah, this is the famous clock that everybody comes here and sees. We don't know what the name is, but Everybody's taking pictures of it. Like you can see all the selfie guys. What time is that is now? Uh, what time does that say? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how do you so say? Something forty, something like thirty-five, right? Or forty-one. Eleven forty-six. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, they have the eleven. Um, yeah, eleven forty-six. Yeah. But that one doesn't say forty-six, does it? Because the small number goes this way. Right? Yeah. It says forty-one up there. So it says 11.41, but on our clock, which is in sync with the computer, it is 11.46. So I guess, are we gonna go check this thing out? Let's see. Let's go check this out. On a little tour. Tour of Vienna. I think it's gonna do something. Is it gonna do something? Is that why everybody's waiting? I don't know. It's gonna make a sound or, I don't know. Ah, there it is, see? Everybody was waiting for the noise. And there it was. There it was. Now we can go. Let's go. Onward. Onward, right? Where are we off to? What's the next location? The what? next location, we're going to the Hubbard. That is the summer castle, no? How you say? Summer house? The castle for the royalty, summer. the summer one, yes. <laughs> the <laughs> summer castle, I guess. Half work, I don't know. Our pronunciations are gonna be bad. If you guys fancy a read, come down to the National Library. It's a beauty here. But we're gonna keep on our journey here going, but look at that beautiful library. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> See that? The bike. See that? You know what happened there? No. I uh, went to take a picture, <laughs> and then the buggy kept rolling. <laughs> Look at this 
place all the barrels of hay or whatever. Look at that, and all the horses in there. It's crazy. It's a Spanish riding school. Spanish horse riding school. Bales of hay, bales of hay, not barrels, bales of hay. So we're in there, we're going to the Spanish horse riding school. Excuse me. That's wrong. Yeah, I think that's like a school. They're actually gonna go there and learn how to Spanish horse ride. What is Spanish horse riding? Never heard of it. That's some fancy boy stuff. This is what we came here for. So we're gonna go check this out. Yeah. Stefan Platz bus. The Ringenstrasse. If you take the tram one, tram two around the Ringenstrasse, you get a free, free city tour basically on a nice tram. But look at this little square or circle. I don't know what shape you want to call it, but it's nice. Look at this guy. Yeah, everything here just seems so fancy. You know, old and worth a lot of money. Like everything they're selling is like antique and designer. And it's just a nice place, look at this. Wow. Beautiful city. Look at that, the Reif Reifenstein Bank. The Reifenstein, the Reifenstein Bank. Jeez, German's a tough one. A tough one to read, a tough one to say. Look at this. Jesus. <laughs> they have a dog and they're holding hands like they're, they own the place, you know? Another little piece of dark history. And that is the Hitler's balcony, the famous picture. The famous picture of Adolf. Mr. Adolf was standing right up there making a huge speech. This is usually a park and you can see like the cathedral, but obviously some sort of festival or music fest or something is taking place. But this is the famous Hitler's balcony. Wow. Amazing, eh? A lot of people don't talk about it. It's a dark, dark, dark stain on the history of Austria. But Austria, they say, we were reading this book the other day, and they say that the war started because of somewhere between uh, 1880 and 1908, where this little Jewish boy got accepted to the art school here in Vienna, and Mr. Adolf did it. And then Adolf enrolled into the military and became to what we know of him now as you know the dark stain <laughs> in history but yes a lot of people don't talk about that world war ii was pretty much started because adolf didn't get in to an art school and he was a good artist a lot of people say he wasn't a good artist because they like to make fun of him but he was actually a good good artist everybody says that but he destroyed his own paintings after. I think there's a few left, people say, but nobody's really seen them. This is it, eh? That is the National Bibliothek. Yes, <laughs> another library. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, look at this place. So look how nice it looks. You got the cathedral, you got another dome over here. You got this. Well, I don't even know what this is, just a a under passage like what is this and you got the balcony the famous balcony look how beautiful austria is beautiful like look at this place dang dang imagine the events that took place here jeez jeez just that one that i was talking about alone is crazy crazy but i'm sure there's many many wild wild historic events that took place here i just don't know them all comment below let me know let me know what happened here at the balcony. 
look how with the clouds behind it look how nice it looks how fearsome it looks how powerful it looks beautiful place here but we're on to our next site let's go Enzo we're gonna go to the next site this is the Parliament of Vienna of Austria maybe and look at this another beautiful building if you look here this is a parliament and that's where the balcony is here and it's huge and you got tram one tram two i think this is a uh, the ringenstrasse here this is where the tra trams go tram one and two and it takes you in like this u-shape around all the historical buildings so if you take that you can see all the big buildings like this one the balcony and it takes you by all of them so it's a good little free a free a free little tour See, tram one, I mean tram two. Tram one and two, that's what you take. And apparently if you, we just walk around in this whole thing, that's where all the nice buildings are, <laughs> basically. And that's Vienna, the Ringenstrasse. Look at this, so. Jeez, look at the, what do you call that, the mosaic up there? Jeez, crazy, crazy. And in front of this parliament here, you got this beautiful little garden, the Volksgarten. The Volksgarten. You got the Volks Theater and the Volksgarten here. And it's beautiful here. Look at this. Little rose bushes everywhere. Enzo, you can't play it, but you know, it's the only place you get to. It's the only place you get to run around, so. Enzo, no, no. Come on. Standing from the balcony, I thought this was a church over the trees, but it ends up being our destination, City Hall. City Hall is here, the Parliament's here, Volkswagen Park is there, and the balcony's there, so everything's pretty, pretty close. All the main attractions, all the big sites, the historical sites, the big buildings. Wow. I guess Erste is putting on a little event here to promote their bank, or the tennis whatever one you want to say but look at this maybe some tennis maybe some football tennis I don't know but it's nice here always busy always busy 